and it can, later it can be applied on BlackBerry. Actually, there are three major uh, operations on BlackBerry, that's Java, Java uh, or widget and the browser. For browser, it's quite easy. We have a search engine on the BlackBerry, and you can search on the internet. And since 0, 0.0, our, search, uh, our browser was changed to WebKit. And for our customers, especially company customers, those company browser is the most is the most simple connection point. If you you use you do not you can use a BlackBerry to visit all those internet in this company. It's easy to do, but it it lacks flexibility, and it relies on the internet. If I'm in an elevator or in some uh, rural areas, there is no internet, then I cannot have this uh, operation. And the other important application is Java application. It's quite flexible. However, uh, you need to do a training, and it costs a lot of time. And for, for the other thing, it's quite easy. Uh, in the middle is the widget. It's uh, the mi middle layer between Java ME and the browser. So you, if you understand HTML, you can package your web application be an offline Java application. We have our special development rules, and you can use your the HTML language you understand and package it as a widget. So you can choose different a system for different situation. So this, this is the uh, technical support from us. If, if that's 0, 0.0 0 cell phone, but we use WebKit, and then we can use all these 3C standards. I can say multimedia. And all those, and also this tiny check Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and etc. And uh, we have this push technology. For instance, in my cell phone, I have an application that is our intranet. It provides those information about our new product. For one uh, solution is that I visit this. A website a lot every day and to get the up to date information. However, actually, you do not need to do that because we have this push technology. If there is an update on that website, then that information will be pushed to myself, to my BlackBerry. Then I know that there is something new on that internet. And so, I, if I'm interested, I will check. So if you use this browser on a BlackBerry, it's quite good. Like for some companies, they need to know these news and those product, uh, up-to-date product of those companies. And uh, for this or push-up functions up, uh, development, we actually we have a best server to to provide all those as terminals and you and post for for our personal business the cloud cloud terminal we have we provide individual service and in our Xinlan Weibo we have this individual push service. So it's very flexible and efficient and convenient. Secondly, we will talk about widget. We use this, they use this web technology to develop a new user terminal. For the, I, you say that this kind of technology is better for those developers who doesn't understand Java.
This software can actually uh, utilize the function of BlackBerry phones, for example, like GPS and the phone calls. So we can use it as an offline offline users, but also actually. Uh, conduct exchanges with BlackBerry phone users, but uh, the developer development cycles of widget is uh, quite long. Actually, as for user experiences and our own practical experiences, we would uh, suggest uh, the use of uh, Java. Because uh, we have GVN on BlackBerry phones, and uh, we have a lot of developers transform the existing uh, code edition to use it on the phone. So the main adjustment is the readjust for the screens and uh, the keyboards and so on. So it takes only a few week, weeks. But uh, this Java didn't actually utilize the strong function of BlackBerry phone. So we can see the real BlackBerry apps, apart from Java or BlackBerry APIs. So the BlackBerry APIs can actually bring you better experience and uh, functions of the phone. And uh, we can also visit all kinds of uh, phone resources, and the interface is very beautiful. And uh, we can also see that the Java-based application can also uh, enable us to connect to the to other resources, it is. Uh, we can see it can actually make flexible adjustment to different uh, users. Currently, there are around two twenty thousand APIs can realize the deep development of uh, interfaces. Through BlackBerry phones, we can actually improve people's working efficiency. Maybe present here, many people are not familiar with BlackBerry's platform. So here, I'd like to uh, share with you. If the enterprise needs to use BlackBerry, the first thing is to have the phone with the first thing. The first thing is to have the phone with the first thing. The first thing is to have the phone with the first thing. The first thing is to have the phone with the and the second, a BlackBerry phone. And the third, 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 a BlackBerry phone. 那么它其实是一个网关服务器，用来连接黑莓手机跟你企业内部的应用服务，是这样的一个架构体系。那么在这架构里面，我们看说黑莓在黑莓手机上面，我们可以开发。基于浏览器的，基于微姐或者 BlackBerry 加的应用，来透过我们的 BAS 的中间件，来访问到我们后台企业的各种各样的现有的企业系统。所以这大概是这样的一个架构。那么我前面其实也提到了，就是我们黑莓的两点最大优势。第一就是说，这个架构里面，黑莓手机呢，它是永远连在企业内网上的一个终端，它不需要 VPN， 也不需要去拨号。啊，它是永远是有一个跟企业内网连接着的一个状态。你什么时候打开这个黑莓手机，想去访问企业内网，就什么时候可以访问。所以在整个黑莓的架构里面，我们其实有很多的开发商，包括像 IT 部门的一些开发的这个应用，也是非常有意思的。那我我本人自己做 IT 很多很多年，那我们也知道说 IT 的人员最痛苦是什么？可能周末的时候，领导跟你说啊，这个服务器坏了。然后你需要从家里跑到公司的机房里面
去维护这台机器，或重启这台 Windows， 对不对？但如果你用黑莓手机的话，因为黑莓手机本身自己就是连在企业内网上的，所以呢，我们就有这样的解决方案，是说在黑莓手机上面可以有一个软件，直接去遥控机房里的所有服务器，包括重启 Windows， 都是可以的。我们在国外有这样的方案基于黑莓来实现的。所以这样的话，你可能说今天如果 IT 的人员的话，你就在家里面就可以来管理你机房里面所有的服务器。这就是说黑莓手机连在内网上的一个。非常大的一个优势点。那第二个特点就是说，我们讲。黑莓手机本身它是可以实现数据的这个推送，那么这个推送就是由我们的 BAS 服务器来实现的，啊，就是 BBS 服务器来实现的。你要推送的数据呢，你就扔给 BAS 服务器就可以了。然后 BAS 服务器会把数据扔给我们的手机，同时有一个确认的回复。那么这是我们来看到是说，对于推送服务来讲，对用户的一个好处是显而易见的。无论今天的这个手机发展到什么程度，那么我们我们其实知道是说，资源永远是有限的。啊，你的电池、你的网络永远是有限的。那么推送来讲的话呢，就是说我们可以，第第一是说我们可以来。增强我们整个手机的续航的能力，同时呢，我们也是说，可以对用户呢不需要频繁的去操作来耗这个手机的这个电池啊，来这个耗这个流量、啊。那么在这个黑莓的整个推送里面呢，其实我们会看到，如果分的细的话，呃，技术细节我们分成三种推送，一个叫 channel 推送，一个叫信息的这个 message 推送，一个叫这个 cache 的推送，这是针对浏览器的。那么还同时我们也支持呃自定义的 Java 的推送。也就是说，我们无论是你面向于浏览器应用，还是 Java 应用呢，包括微解应用，都可以在黑莓手机上去接收，通过你后端的企业的 BIS 服务器，或者通过我们个人的那个云端的 BIS 服 BIS 的那个架构体系推送过来的数据。所以，黑莓推送服务应该来讲是在整个业界里面是最知名的这样的一套服务。它的真正意义上来讲是说，对手机来讲，它不需要去做一个心跳，而能够实现数据从服务器推到手机这样的一个过程，而且是一个实时并且是一个可确认的一个过程。那么大家可能会想啊，如果这么推送的话，其实是非常好，但是不是开发起来会很困难呢？其实非常简单的一个过程。那基本上来讲是说，我们会看到就是大部分精华就在这里，就两端代码。那么在我们的 server 端，那这个 server 端不是指我们的 BAS 服务器，而是指你的应用服务器。那么比如说，如果你是做 OA 的话，那么你这段代码直接可以放在 OA 的服务器里面。当如果有一条新的公文需要推给用户的时候呢，你只需要去调这段代码就可以了。这个代码非常的简单，我们会看到是说它其实就是一个。对这个 URL 这个调用，然后后面呢放上你的这个参数和你的数据流，然后扔给 BIS 服务器 ，BIS 服务器会知道说是哪台手机，然后呢手机呢这边会有一个这个侦听，而这个侦听本身过程是我们这个黑莓手机底层就已经实现了，而不需要像我以前碰到呃可能刚刚开始做黑莓开发的这个程序员会问我是说是不是我要自己来实现这个轮询，不停的在那边运行去侦听这个呃服务器。其实不需要，就一个 API 就可以实现。那么整个是说，从服务器到手机的这个传送的过程，完全是由黑莓平台帮你实现了。而你要做的只是开发一些业务的逻辑而已。所以这个周期会大大缩短，而且非常适合在移动的环境里面来进行实现。你不用担心是说我今天这个黑莓手机没有信号啊，担心有没有能够收到那边推过来的数据没有关系，在服务器端会有相应的处理，会有从事机制，会有报警机制啊。所以呢，这个呢是说。在推送这一块的话呢，其实是给大家基本上是提供了一个非常简易使用的一个平台。那么另外谈到应用部署的话呢，其实黑莓也是提供了一个非常灵活的应用部署。那么这个也几乎是说没有一家手机。I think all the phones and wireless,、uh, all the other phones and phone makers and、uh, wireless operators can provide this service because our BlackBerry enterprise server can actually manage this app allocation very well. If we Uh, maybe you will wake up, find there are three more icons on your BlackBerry phones, and、uh, these three icons or apps are actually pushed through the air without your active installation. 
So you don't need to actually get back all those films and install all those applications. Instead, for all those films that I've distributed, these apps can be automatically installed over the air. And you can also, through sending an order, um, uh, get back those apps over the air. So we can actually, uh, through OTA, the internet, as well as BlackBerry Enterprise Server, as well as our App Store, you can get these apps these apps and uh, the installation of the apps are of different ways. We can also have a software package uh, and install it through the, through the PC and then install uh, to the phones. Here is a list of uh, the uh, different uh, features of the three platforms of web, widget, and Java. I think we might suggest using Java because it can realize the offline operation. A basic example is that if you want to write a document, the document can be pushed to the phone. So the phone users do not need to actually get to the phone. They can operate even when they are on the airplane. And uh, after getting, getting off the airplane, they can further process the data of the document. So Java is not so de dependent on the internet, but the web and widget have its own advantages. That is, they have very short development circle. They have to only to make a few adjustments. And now is the widget interface in BlackBerry phones. This is actually this is a a outer face of it. On the other hand, is the OA interface. So these are two typical. Interface, interfaces of BlackBerry apps. If you are um, not so familiar with BlackBerry apps, so we have several uh, proposals. You can actually download apps from our websites for free. There are also MDS. Um, and also SDK, you can uh, install the MDS and uh, get to know, uh, get to install those apps. And there's also a software or apps called Hello World. And uh, we also have uh, other API uh, sample code. We also have videos to teach people to use our API. So this is a gradual uh, optimization. Now let's turn to the BlackBerry Java plugin for Eclipse. Um, we can see the BlackBerry has its Java plugin, and it's very convenient, and all those apps are actually for free. And uh, now is the global resources of BlackBerry development. You can actually get all those apps through this website. It is uh, all in English, and we also have a special zone that is blackberry.csdn.net, and all those are the Chinese resources that is totally compiled and, uh, and uh, arranged by us. And all those contents uh, are in the book we've published this year. That is a BlackBerry from the starter to a development from its uh, starter to to be an expert on it.
You can find the book on many bookstores. I think it's of great help for those uh, BlackBerry learners. So just now, I have generally introduced the devo development of BlackBerry platform as well as several steps. If you are interested or if you have any questions, you can actually have a face-to-face -face exchanges with me later. And uh, so much for my presentation. Thank you. And now we will invite all the award winners to showcase the wonderful BlackBerry apps. The first is from Mr. Chiu Jian from Anhe Innovation. So please say hello to, uh, to the other people. Good afternoon, my name is Chiu Jian from Anhe Innovation Scientific Beijing a limited cooperation. It's my great honor that BlackBerry gave me this opportunity to showcase our apps. First, a brief introduction of our company. Actually, our company is uh, the first in Beijing to, to promote BlackBerry apps. And our company was at first to provide the BlackBerry business for China Mobile, including best system and BlackBerry apps installation and so on. And later, the Chinese users find the BlackBerry emails is uh, it's not enough. They would like to use more products or service of BlackBerry. And later on, we began to uh, do the develop of BlackBerry apps to help uh, link or connect the apps with the BlackBerry phones so as to realize the wireless office. Just now, uh, previously, Mr. Xie said in the coming 10 decades, China will lead the wireless wave. I couldn't agree more. We believe that in the future, in this wireless wave, the enterprise, the wireless industry for enterprises is having a very good momentum. So we would like to contribute our own efforts to the wireless industry of enterprises. And now let's turn to the wireless products of our company. Uh, we have an MNG. This, we can see from, uh, these are the interface of our apps. And there are some uh, frequent used functions. You can enter in to find some details. And you can choose the receiver and to see the attached file and all these functions. I just want to mention that this product its characteristics that we supply a in between uh, a thing called MAG. Its developer is at the server's end and try to do the matching. And for user terminal, it's at a show function. For this wireless developers, for those companies, we just transfer this workload to the server matching. If the company can do a match, a good match of the server, 
then the end user can can have all these things and uh, can visit this intranet. It can speed up our development and I do not need to deal with those complicated Java development. We just to do some uh, match on the server side and have the software. And uh, for the functions of our software, it's based on push and the renewal uh, system. All these contents uh, after you visit it for the first time, it will be served at the serv at the end server. So if open for the first time, it will take some time. When you open for the second time, it will be very quickly. And so when you save this information, you have have they will book this uh, update of this inf information. If the thing, if the saved thing have some new updates, it will be pushed to this customer's end, so the customer can always see the up-to-date information. According to this framework, its benefits is that you just need to arrange a simple customer terminal, and the companies can constantly do this match on this on their end and add a lot of functions. For instance, um, the, this uh, product which we put it to the competition, when it is uh, uploaded, we did some uh, minor changes. We do not to uh, update this uh, customer end. We just update the information on the company's end. And for BlackBerry, I just want to mention this Super IPP. It is uh, just some simple uh, function of Super IPP. We can save some emails, like company emails. If our subscriber click on it, they can open their email business email. Uh, customers and, and uh, deal with all these emails and uh, also do some word processing and that's based on some specialties of BlackBerry like when we click on a telephone number and then you point to this menu button you can copy this telephone number so we, well, we use the match of those Servers on the company side, and you can the customer can enjoy enjoy it. So that's for my introduction. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chu. Now let's welcome uh, Mr. Han from Costco Network. And he will introduce his uh, mobile office platform. Costco Network is the first, uh, uh, they developed the first OA system and, and now used by customers. Thank you. I, I come from uh, Costco Network. It's a t uh, Fortune 500 companies. Actually, um, uh, Ocean Land uh, Properties is a branch institution of us. Now I will give you some practical information. This is my cell phone, and I will show you in in real uh, in real operation. In 2008, our CEO. Of, Co of Costco went to Singapore and he saw the BlackBerry and see the push function of emails. So when he came back, he wanted to use a BlackBerry 
because, uh, however, usually he use uh, his OA, and our back backup is low cost. He hopes that when he's on business trip abroad, he can deal with his everyday work on on his cell phone. So we developed this OA system for him. To put it simply. Uh, I, I will show you. This is my cell phone. You see, this is our. Uh, <laughs> this is a short message, and the other. Uh, this is for email, OA, and this is our logo. Every uh, now there are a lot of young people. They like to send short messages a lot. Now I can use only my SIM. I can deal with this OA. Now I'm in this OA system. There are four choice. One uh, yet uh, yet to be done and uh, already done, and uh, let some others to do. In the in the backstage, if there are some items that are yet to be done, you can deal with it here. Because we have uh, agent things, and when I have deal with it, and uh, in this yet to be done item, I just push it the red button. As you see, I have four. Four files. I have four things to do, and this this is a fees for my employees, and I can check all those uh, fees, and I can sign approval or not. So when I press the button, and I press the button again, that's approval and submit, and and. <laughs> That's the information of their own company, and you see now the this information is being transmitting. Uh, it's due to the uh, whether the signal is strong or not. So it's sent, it is sent successfully. So it's quite simple, and now I do the approval for the second file. This is also reimbursement for this uh, car fare. It's quite a lot of items. When I press this uh, button, function button, I can choose uh, approval and submit, or uh, write some opinions, or return. Or track, and they or can write some opinions, and uh, I can do our own setup, like approval, or um, and if it is approved, then I can save it. Here you can say that it's approval, and my. My cell phone is 9800, so you can use handwriting. And now I use the button uh, Submit. And OK. And it is sending out. So you can say that in my, uh, in this OA process, I just approved two files. So that's the same. And you can see in another category, yet to be read. It is a notice. That's uh, May the 20th. You can see this uh, article. So it's a real time situation. And uh, I'm using it every day. It's a notice about. Uh, about a new employee. Uh, 
Uh, no, it's down. So when I have have uh, dealt with it, so this category is empty. And it uh, went to another file that's already read. So for this OA, uh, for reimbursement and for other things. However, when, you are, when I'm driving or I'm uh, or I'm take a train, I can also do this. So for those uh, for those leaders, those mobile office systems is quite convenient. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Han. It's quite an impressive introduction. Now, let, now let's welcome Mr. Sun from National Sky Network Mobile Office System. Um, good afternoon. I'm Sun Jinshu from National Sky Network Mobile Office System. Now I will introduce our product. That's a backstage uh, system and the front front desk uh, user terminal. Actually, we have different sectors can be combined or used separately. And different sector have its own function. For instance, like uh, open a new application or have some or some things already done, yet to be done, and uh, your personal uh, mailbox and the trading of bonds. At first, for this uh, creating a, a new function, it's an uh, application for business trips and application for leaves. And uh, there are different reasons, like if you are sick and you have some other things or you are going to a wedding. And uh, this, uh, this article will follow its own system. And when you submit your application, you, uh, you can check there is a record of this application. And you can see that who is doing, who is applied, and the reply uh, from the your leader, your boss. And for items yet to be done, there are several subcategories like reimbursement and uh, the use of stamps. And the other things are, are concerning those receiving and the send articles. And for those attached files, we use the browse ways that is used by BlackBerry. You can save this attached miles locally, and you can open it or save it online. Or also, you can use the third-party software to open it, like Doctor to Go and other things. And for for schedule management, we have simulated this uh, menu of BlackBerry. So the secretary of the boss, VP, and the other boss, they can share their own schedule, and they can let the secretary to manage their schedule. So the schedule for different people are marked with different color. So you can see the schedule of my boss and my colleagues, and can coordinate all those on my own schedule with it. And for this telephone book, they are of many levels. If this company have a huge organized of a structure, it's hard to find the uh, number of the exact person. So we can use a new software and to find the 
telephone of a particular colleague. Just like BlackBerry, they support all this uh, telephone record. Finally, this is a, a trading of bonds. Uh, that's what we do for the securities companies and for management of their bonds. And we can apply to a single transaction or a portfolio transaction. And now we have a, a in f something for this backstage uh, contact point. So we can provide a P2P transmission for 500 people. Uh, that's all for my introduction. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sun. National Sky Network Mobile Office System is our very earliest partners. And now let's welcome Mr. Zhou Jun from China Telecom, Shanghai Ideal Information Industry. Actually, it is the first BlackBerry application, OAO application, based on China Telecom. Thank you, BlackBerry. Now I want to introduce the, our background. China Telecom Shanghai Ideal Information Industry Co. Limited. Our major customers are company customers. Since last year, on May the 17th, we signed a formal agreement, a cooperation agreement with RIM China. Uh, and we received this task in March and uh, April, and we know that we will do a, um, a open a ceremony for RIM. So we will change this original tele telecom OA and uh, transform that on this BlackBerry. Actually, our tech for our technical structure, uh, Youshang, our idea is similar with the previous companies. We want to provide a flexible way. In server, we have a in-between level and for the customers and and Android and an iPhone and we have similar uh, user terminals and uh, for the screen. It is used in this in-between uh, level, and we use compute, uh, cloud computing to distribute different resources. Because for one server, it can support a certain number of terminals. In June, we will do a platform form thing. Says so this server. Can, uh, is based on cloud computing and it can, can expand or shrink a uh, different uh, data. Actually, it's almost the same because our target customers are those high level customers. And for company users, we use OA and we have at CCM. And uh, for this uh, article, it's about the same. Actually, we can see most of the apps have uh, the almost the same or similar functions. That is like uh, the inbox, the email. It's just like the email receive, receiving. Well, here I like to focus on the. Uh, a very very special apps based on platform blackberry platform that is um a note taking apps so these apps if you have something you have to do then this inbox or this message will pop out
so it will actually come out and remind you to to deal with it. And uh, our user is actually uh, closely connected with our uh, card. If your card is not connected, then even you, if you have the password and your account, you can still not log on. So. Just now, this message has already been dealt with. And another is the address book. There are also some special functions. For example, there are some key clients will have more information, but as we know, the address book, the information in the address book should be kept secret. So if you want to dial out the number and call the person, the other information will not appear. Especially, I think this is quite useful for governments and other departments which have strong requirements for uh, uh, secrecy. And so much for my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Zhou Jun. The last winner is uh, Mr. Ye Yong from Sosu. Could uh, Scientec? Uh, Sosu is also a rising star in developing apps of BlackBerry platform. Good afternoon. I'm Ian from uh, Sosu. And today I will also uh, talk about our office system, mobile office system for enterprise. We'll have uh, different uh, uh, items like uh, the to do items, the already done items. And also some other notifications and letters. This last was list was pushed through best server. You do not have to uh, receive it actively. This is the interface for approval. That is, all the information can be displayed here on this interface. It includes the um, a lot of uh, account check when you input your account. And this can, these are also actually connected to the server. So there are some must fill in content. There are also different types of operation. For example, if we have a meeting with person in charge of the main department, We can see all those uh, lists can actually be re reallocated. For example, we can look at the process. 
is quite convenient. It's just uh, uh, very familiar with that on the PC. We can get to those uh, pictures, to the process pictures, uh, and uh, through the uh, on the phone. Here we can also try to to conduct some orders, like to approve. So this shows the uh, it has been approved. So this uh, item can be removed from this to-do list. As for the already done list. We can also check from the list. This is what we've just processed. We can still conduct some um, orders here. So just now, this message actually pushed uh, from the server to the list. There is also uh, a performance-based uh, uh, process as well as other complicated process. This is mainly used for scoring for the users or alliance. Just now is the to-do list. As for the uh, half done list is actually very similar to the to do list. This is the notifications are also pushed through the server. The, you can also open the attachments here. You can uh, the the attachments can be opened with the apps uh, within this system. We can also check the personnel information within the enterprise. For example, like the address book as well as other related information. And so much for my presentation. Thank you. And uh, so much for the presentation round. And now let's give the floor to Sina. Actually, uh, Xu Yuan is uh, one of the pioneers of Sina Weibo. So if you have any question, please turn to him. I'm the person in charge of Sina Weibo. My name is Xu Yuan. I'd like to thank the organizer for giving us the opportunity to showcase the newest uh, uh, Black for BlackBerry uh, terminals for Sina Weibo. This is the main, main interface. We have different functions. First is through the main page, we can
We can have a look at、uh, the Weibo we've already received or sent. This is、uh, those who have at me, because you have different friends, you can at different friends. So this is one of the most important functions of Sina Weibo. Now we are refreshing the page. This is the for comments. There are lots of comments here.、Uh, a lot of comments for Sina Weibo. It's also a way of interaction between our friends and and ourselves. This is a latest version. One of the main functions that is the private messages. Um, it's just like、uh, the bubbles here, much similar to to the previous message services in BlackBerry and、uh, Apple. There are also you can also add faces, smiley faces, into the message. We can have different、uh, facial expressions. We can take photos, and also RBS service. For example, I can tell my friends what I'm doing here through sending messages to Sina Weibo, and this is the main page.、Uh, for example, how many fans do you have? Uh, and how many、uh, friends you are interested in? How many、uh, blogs have you actually sent? This is、uh, Weibo Square. The first time you enter,、uh, you get get to use Weibo. You can enter this square, and there are a lot of、uh, friends recommend it to you, or some topics you are interested. In. For example, you can also find stars like Yao Chen. Um, some other female stars, as well as gossips here. Actually, the BlackBerry is、uh, can connect very closely with this、uh, Sina Weibo. Uh, actually, we cannot take photo here because、uh, it's connected with the computer. Previously, Zheng Wei have already showed to us. So we have、uh, very closely connected with、uh, BlackBerry. There is also another important、uh, function, push, because of the current China mobile environment. The push service. It's not so well developed, but maybe in the future we can. I can show you the push service. In developing the BlackBerry Weibo、uh, uh, terminals, we are considering many questions,、uh, for, and I think. With the with BlackBerry's business in China, with more and more BlackBerry users, I think、um, Sina Weibo will also grow together with BlackBerry. So much for my presentation. Thank you. The next app is Almighty Night. It is a very、uh, useful app. You can actually、uh, launch the quick starter and so on. It's also a product of MMMOOO. This software is for free right now. You can download from our app store. 